Introduction Before 1776, the British monarchy, under the leadership of the royal family, exercised control over the American colonies through appointed colonial governors and British laws that served the empire's interests. As British subjects, the colonists were required to follow these laws, despite lacking representation in the British Parliament. This dynamic created growing tensions, particularly regarding taxation without representation, which culminated in the American Revolution. With the signing of the Declaration of Independence in 1776, the colonies formally severed ties with the British Crown, marking the end of British political control over the future United States. However, covert attempts to maintain influence persisted. Freemasonry, a secretive and ancient fraternity with strong ties to both British elites and American leaders, is often viewed as a tool used by the British monarchy to subtly infiltrate and influence the newly independent US government, the British Empire. Before 1776, the British royal family, as the head of the monarchy, held control over the American colonies through the British government. The colonies were considered part of the British Empire and were subject to the authority of the British Crown. This control was exercised through colonial governors appointed by the Crown, British laws, and the enforcement of economic policies that benefited Britain, such as the Navigation Acts, which restricted colonial trade to benefit the mother country. Colonists were British subjects and had to follow British laws, although they had no direct representation in the British Parliament. Tensions grew as colonists increasingly felt that their rights were being infringed upon, particularly with the imposition of taxes like the Stamp Act and Tea Act without their consent, taxation without representation. These tensions eventually led to the American Revolution, during which the colonists sought independence from British rule. In 1776, the Continental Congress adopted the Declaration of Independence, formally severing political ties with Britain and the monarchy, marking the end of royal control over what would become the United States. During the period leading up to 1776 and the American Revolution, King George III was the British monarch. He reigned from 1760 to 1820 and was the king during the events that led to the American colony's decision to declare independence, including the imposition of taxes and other policies that fueled colonial discontent. American Revolution After the American Revolution, Britain, particularly the monarchy, sought to maintain control over the newly independent United States by covert means. Freemasonry, a widespread and influential fraternity with members in both Britain and America, is often seen as the vehicle for such infiltration. Background on Freemasonry Freemasonry is an oath-bound secretive fraternal organization that claims to trace its origins to the late medieval stonemason guilds, it is the largest worldwide secret society spread by the advance of the British Empire. It is the oldest fraternity in the world, and among the oldest continued organizations in history. In the Secret Teachings of All Ages, 33rd Freemason Manly P. Hall writes, Freemasonry is a religion in that, it is a science of the soul. Furthermore, Masonry is a religion seeking to unite God and man, by elevating its initiates to that level of consciousness, whereon they can behold with clarified vision the workings of the great architect of the universe. From age to age the vision of a perfect civilization is preserved as the ideal for mankind. In the Lost Keys of Freemasonry, Hall writes, Freemasonry is a religious institution, and its religion is universal. It is seeking to bring man closer to God by uniting all men who seek the light. Freemasonry would not exist without Judaism. This is evidenced by the historical, symbolic, and allegorical aspects of the fraternity's rituals. Freemasonry structure and symbolism have deep connection to Jewish and Judeo-Christian traditions, particularly those derived from the Old Testament and Kabbalah. One of the most significant symbols in Freemasonry is the Temple of Solomon, which plays a central role in the rituals and allegories of Masonic degrees. The construction of Solomon's Temple 
is centered around Jewish historical and religious symbolism. In Masonic lore, the Jewish Bolite King Solomon is portrayed as the Grand Master of the Temple. Much of the fraternity's symbolism revolves around the Temple's building process, the Bolites Bol, Anastati, and the Phoenician alphabet. The Oriental Chair of Solomon symbolizes the wisdom and teachings associated with Bolite King Solomon, who is a central figure in Masonic law. The chair represents a seat of authority within the lodge, often occupied by the worshipful master during Masonic meetings. The worshipful master, analogous to the Bolite Solomon in symbolism, presides over lodge proceedings and is responsible for maintaining order and upholding Masonic principles. The chair serves as a focal point for Masonic teachings and ritualistic instruction. The worshipful master occupies the Oriental Chair of Solomon as a symbol of leadership and authority. The chair is used as a platform for delivering Masonic lectures, teachings, and moral lessons based on the wisdom associated with Bolite King Solomon, a key figure in Freemasonry, Hiram Abif, from the Phoenician city of Tyre is said to be the chief architect of Solomon's temple, and his legendary story of betrayal and death is central to Masonic ritual, especially in the third degree Master Mason. Hiram is believed to have been a skilled craftsman brought in to help build the temple, linking his narrative closely to Jewish history. Freemasonic rituals incorporate several Hebrew words and concepts, Hebrew being a dialect of Phoenician. For example, the ineffable name of God, YHWH, in higher degrees, particularly within the York Rite and Scottish Rite. Rituals sometimes involve symbolic references to the ineffable or sacred name of God, which in Jewish tradition is represented by the Tetragrammaton, YHWH. Masons are often taught that the knowledge of the divine name is connected to wisdom and truth. Use of Hebrew, Phoenician names and terms, Certain Hebrew terms, such as Jar, Boaz, and Jokins of the pillars in Solomon's temple, are used in Masonic rituals and lectures. By the 18th century, Freemasonry had evolved into a network of lodges centered around Enlightenment ideals. Masonic lodges became places where influential people, including politicians, intellectuals, and business leaders, would gather. The secretive nature of the group's rituals its hierarchical structure, its multiple O's of death, and its persistence on working with children have fueled suspicions for centuries. British control of America, British elites, including members of the royal family and aristocracy, saw the Masonic fraternity as a tool to keep influence over the US, despite the formal public break in political ties. Since many founding fathers were Freemasons, for example, George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, and John Hancock, the British monarchy used Freemasonry as a channel to subtly influence American governance and political decisions. There are several key elements to this. Freemasonry as a British-rooted institution. Freemasonry had strong roots in Britain, and its influence in the colonies began before 1776. The British Masonic lodges were loyal to the monarchy and retained secret ties to the British aristocracy, even after American independence. Founding fathers as Freemasons, many of the prominent leaders of the American Revolution, including George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, and Paul Revere, were Freemasons. Their Masonic connections made them susceptible to influence from the British Masonic network, even if their revolutionary ideals appeared to counter British rule. British royalty's involvement in Freemasonry, members of the British royal family, and upper-class elites, have always been deeply involved in Freemasonry and use it globally as a covert political tool. By controlling key figures within the fraternity, the monarchy maintains a hidden hand in American affairs, particularly through members of the US government who are also Freemasons. Masonic lodges as networks of influence. Masonic lodges have always been seen as places where influential people congregate. Within these lodges, political decisions and allegiances are formed that benefit British interests. Freemasonry's hierarchical and secretive nature makes it an ideal conduit 
for covert British influence, which continued even as the US government developed independently. Conclusion. In conclusion, the British monarchy, despite losing formal political control over the American colonies following the revolution, is believed to have sought to maintain its influence through covert means, particularly by leveraging Freemasonry, the fraternity's symbolic and hierarchical structure, deeply rooted in Jewish and Judeo-Christian traditions and British history, provided a unique channel through which the British elites could exert hidden influence, with many of America's founding fathers, including George Washington and Benjamin Franklin, being Freemasons, British Freemasonry continued to shape American political decisions. While America achieved formal independence, Freemasonry served as a covert mechanism for maintaining British aristocratic influence in US governance and society.